Hey guys, it's Soja Girl. Listen, I recorded this video in my car and I was thinking, God, I know that people were just tired of seeing me in my flipping car all the time. But that's what's convenient for me, you guys. I, I mount my camera on my mirror, put a couple scrunchies on it, and it's nice and it's tight and it's secure and it's not going to budge loose. And I'm able to drive and be safe and record and save time at the same time. So I've gotten so used to doing that because it's convenient for me. But I do want to kind of bring it back home and start doing more of my videos back at home again and, and and I haven't been doing a whole lot of haul type videos with couponing but I'm gonna try to get back into doing that it's just that I have so much shit you guys it's just not even funny like excuse my language but I just have so much crap that it's just like my cup is running over over and over and over okay my table is full of crap constantly my stockpile room, I've gotten to the point where I just toss the bags on the floor and close the door. So I am getting together some stuff to donate to the homeless shelter here in my city. Um, I am trying to get ready for another yard sale. Hope oh, this video is about to for a lot of us couponers and stuff, you guys. We get some awesome deals. We really do. There's no if ands, or what's a buts about it. We get crazy mad deals. We have nice ass, healthy ass stockpiles to show for it. Um, we are able to help our our immediate families our friends um our um our family members we're able to help co-workers you know where a lot of us are donating to charities and homeless shelters and women's shelters a lot of us are giving stuff to strangers a lot of us are helping out our cashiers we are helping people okay so never lose lose sight of that how much the couponer does help sometimes other people the they kind of get the wrong mindset when they think of a couponer and I, a lot of it I believe sometimes it has every to do single with the couponer show. is helping out so many other people and so definitely keep that in mind I mean it's an, it's a beautiful thing okay it's a beautiful it's an amazing thing to have learned how to coupon for me I've been doing it pushing almost three years now I want to say I definitely wish I had started sooner um, I wish I did it when I had my son I would have saved so much money even with him um, and so it's definitely something worth learning um, now with that said you guys we're gonna have some bad days in couponing okay there's gonna be days where things are just not gonna yeah, go right we're gonna okay. have bad days all right but keep in mind that we're gonna have more good days than bad days with couponing now I haven't did a rent video in forever okay it's been a while and I want to say, I didn't, I, last one I did was, was back in March. I think I checked and it was back in March. And that was the target up, me, up here by me. And, um, and I haven't done a rent video in a while, you guys, because things have just been going good for me. I have had issues with certain stores. But you know what? I feel like this. I feel like, you know what? I'm not going to allow a person to stop me from getting my deal. I feel like as a couponer, it, that's my deal. You know what I'm saying? And I know that sometimes you're going to get cashiers that are really just blocking. They're just like blocking. You just want to be like, what the hell? What are you hating for? What are you blocking for? You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, you're going to have those that are just really going to be hating on the fact that you are. There's a little connection that helps up to this. I don't know, Google. Can you find me better? A little bit. I'm doing a video though. Come say hi. Nobody's seen you. No. Nobody's seen you in a no. month. You know, he doesn't want to say hi. You don't want to say hi? You want to come over here and at least say wave or something? People miss seeing you on sidekick, baby. And so. Mm -hmm. Why is it Why is it on the face? Why is there a squirrel's one on the face? Because that's what it does. So we're going to, they're, they're going to be blocking from, from whichever way. I mean, there's cashiers that are just really just, they, they trying to deny you before they even see what you got. You know what I'm saying? So. Keep keep, keep saying, in like, mind all that you're doing. I haven't had a rent video in a while because honestly, I am not allowing these cashiers and management CSMs. I will say specifically Target because that's the store that I deal with more than anything now. I've been more than CVS, and um, and so it's like it's about not allowing them to like fuck your mood up. You know what I'm saying? Like in all honesty, excuse my language, but a lot of times you will wish you'd stayed home. You would just sometimes you would just be wishing like God, I should have stayed home. I should have kept my home. You, you're not gonna always get every single deal, okay? And it's okay. It's okay. Like if the deal doesn't go right, breathe, okay? 
make your decision. Do you get it anyways under their conditions or do you say, no, I'm going to pass? You know, there's days that I definitely have to pass if things don't go the way I plan them to. I'm not going to purchase something and pay out of my pocket for something just to turn around and okay. And so, okay, my point is that just because a deal doesn't go right for you doesn't mean that it's the end of the I refuse to allow those okay. people to piss me off. I, re I refuse to allow these people to fuck my mood up, have you? All right? And so I calmly say, Okay, well, yeah, never mind. Or I, I know I'll go to a different store. I'll go to the store closer to my house. Or oh, whatever. And and guess what? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to get the deal done anyways. And that's what happened a couple days ago. Go to one store, blah 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 blah. I'm like, okay, fine, cool, bye. No 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 harm no foul. I go to the next store and got exactly what I should have got at the first store. So my point is, I refuse to allow these people to piss me off for a deal that I'm going to get anyway okay that's my point um honestly i know a lot of people have issues with the bogo coupons and whether or not they auto deduct or not it just depends your miles are always going to vary i want to say it depends on your cashier it depends on your csm the management the day the freaking week the time you know what i'm saying you can go to jane on freaking monday and she could be like peach cherry and give it and give you all your freaking um an auto deduct everything and then you can go back to jane on freaking thursday and she can be just like a whole nother freaking person so Honestly, honestly, let me tell you what I do. For starters, when you have bogles, always have enough to cover the overage. I even um, got a couple gift cards last week to cover overage. Um, secondly, um, I use bogles. I will, whenever I go to Target, I'm trying to use bogles. Simple, simply put, um, I feel like I have a 50-50 shot, so I'm going to try. And if the, if it doesn't auto deduct. Okay, well, never mind. You know, I don't have enough today. Let me just take the raises off for now. Simply put, you guys. I've had a lot of you guys send me messages saying, well, I just paid for them and then I went and got my money back to cash. I'm not doing, I'm not flying through hoops at customer service to get my money back. Or I'm not trying to put that money forward to go back and get my money you back. It doesn't what? work like that for me. Like, if, so what if you don't get the deal? Guess what? There's going to be the next store you go to and you're going to get the deal there. Now, for those of you who live in small towns and you only have like one Target or one CVS or one store, that sucks because you don't have a whole lot of options. Me, you guys know, 60 miles home, 60 miles to work, I have a dozen freaking Targets I can stop at and it's not going to be an inconvenience to me because that's just more bogles I can use or more opportunities to get the deal. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to add. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm going to try to get back into doing more couponing videos. Um, I'm trying to get back into my fitness. You guys know, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I post pictures all the time. I do post pictures on Instagram a lot because it's so convenient for me now. Um, I've only been on there for a couple months, I think, and it's like I absolutely love it. It just saves the time of having to do a video. Um, a lot of deals I end up posting there before I even do a video about it. Um, so yeah, but other than that, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. It is 103 degrees in SoCal. What the hell? Do it every time, same channel. Later, guys.